Hey, hey, what took you so long? I had to convince the teacher of something. You had to convince the teacher? What are you talking about? Well, I saw the list of who I have to work on the holiday project with. Oh, really? Who? who? I have to work with that new girl, Helen. Helen? <laughs> yeah, she is so, like, stuck up. You don't even know Helen. I, I don't have to know her. What do you mean you don't have to know her? I mean, I know that she's quirky and weird. You know, I don't think you should judge people before you get to know them. Thanks, Mom. I'm serious. Look, Vita, you just don't understand. Hi, guys. Hi, Helen. Um, hi, Kavi. Yeah, hi. Um, listen, I was wondering if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to meet at my house so we could start the project. No, you can come to my house. Okay, great. So, um, where do you live? On 57th Street. Okay, um, I guess I'll see you there. Guess you will. Oh, and Kavi? What? I'm glad we're working together. Okay, if that's not, if that isn't nice, then she's the weirdest person I've ever, what? What I'm trying to say is that I don't know what you have against Helen. She seems like a nice girl. Why don't you like her? Just don't. There's just something about her that, that what? I don't know. There's just something about her that's fishy. I just, I don't like her. Yeah, they kind of established that. Look, you don't understand, Rita. You're right. I don't understand. I don't understand why you have to be against her. She seems like a nice girl. Yeah, we'll try having class with her. Well, what is she like in class? Well, she's always leaving, going to the nurse's office all the time. She looks fine to me when she goes to the nurse's office. She, she just says cheerfully, oh, I gotta go to the nurse's office. And the teacher just lets her go as if it's a daily thing. Well, maybe there's something going on with Helen that you don't know. Something is going on. Um, okay. What do you think is going on? She's stuck up. She is a teacher's pet. Kavi, I think you're being really unfair. Yeah, well, I didn't ask for your opinion. I better get home. Oh, God, I don't... Ugh. I'm home, Mom. Hi, honey. How was school? Terrible. Hold on, let me turn the DVR on, and then I can talk with you. Okay, what, what's the problem? Well, I'm, I found out who my partner is for the holiday presentation. Oh, really? Who? I... You what? I'm partnered with the weirdest kid in my class. Well, what do you mean by weirdest? I don't know. This girl, her, her name is Helen. And she... And she what? She's just weird. She's always playing with her hair. She's always leaving class early, going to the nurse or nurse's office like a million times a day. And she doesn't talk much to anybody. Well, honey, maybe there's something going on with you, with her that you don't know. Oh, my God, that's what everybody else says. Well, they're right. And if I say it, then you know they're right. Mom, I really don't want to be Helen's partner. Helen? Yeah, that's her name. You working with a girl named Helen? Yeah, why? No reason. Well, anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in my room and, and get set up for the project. Tell Helen where my room is. Okay. Oh, and Kavi, what? Be nice. <sighs> Fine. Be nice. Oh, I hate my life. What's wrong with you? Everything. Would define everything. <laughs> I found out who my partner is for that big holiday project. Really? Who is it? This new girl in my school. And I don't want to work with her. Okay, slow down. Who is this new girl at school? Helen. Okay, and what is it about her that you don't like? I just don't like her. She's there's just something about her that I don't like. And what is the something? I don't even know. I all I know is that I don't like her. Oh, well, as long as you're not being judgmental. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. I don't like her because she seems to be the teacher's pet. Teacher always seems to like her. 
she she always seems to be the teacher's favorite. She's a See, she's always asking Helen, are you okay? How are you feeling? Do you need this? Do you need that? Sounds to me like you're jealous. <laughs> jealous, please. I am not jealous. Well, then why does the way your teacher treat Helen, why does that bother you? Because she's, she's going in for special treatment. I just, I, look, Kari, I think you should give her a chance. That's the last thing I'm going to give her. Well, look, you have to work together, so apparently you're going to have to find some kind of common ground with her. Of course we have common ground. We don't like each other. How do you know that Helen doesn't like you? Have you even talked to her? No. But I know she doesn't like me. She doesn't come up to me to see how I'm doing. Okay, you were really confusing me. First, you don't want anything to do with Helen. Now you're complaining about how she never talks to you. I mean, I'm getting mixed up messages. It doesn't add up. You just don't understand. <sighs> Whatever. I got to get things ready for a little project we're doing. Do you think you could give me and that girl Helen privacy when she comes? I'll give it to you now. I got to go into the study and look up something for history anyway. So, look, it's going to be okay. I doubt it, but whatever. It's going to be okay, whatever. <sighs> Quinn. Hi, me. Hi, Josephine. Hi, sweetie. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess I'm okay. Um, is Kavi? Yeah, she's in... She's in um, her room. It's down the hall and to the left. Thanks. So you sure you're feeling okay? At the moment, yeah. I mean, I've been really tired lately, but so far I haven't felt sick or anything. Just really run down. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Thanks. Maybe I should tell Coffee. Oh, this is going to be heck. Come in. Hi. Hey, Helen. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm researching for the holiday project. Oh. Well, what did you find? I found out that we can do a report on Kwanzaa. Why? Because I have a, one of my friends is African American. Well, then shouldn't she be looking up Kwanzaa? No, because she celebrates Kwanzaa. I think it'd be cool for us to learn about a new holiday, besides Christmas and Hanukkah. Um, sure, I, I guess we could do Kwanzaa. Good, because I already decided. <laughs> do, so, do you have time to work with me, or do you have to go somewhere? Well, actually, I have a doctor's appointment in a half hour, so I can only stay for 15 minutes. Yeah, you have to go to the doctor. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Nothing, let's just get this assignment done. You don't really like me very much, do you, Kavi? What makes you think I don't like you? Because of the way you're treating me. I hear you talking, you and Rita talking about me behind my back, saying how I'm weird and how I have to, how I have to leave class all the time. Well, I gotta admit, it does really tick me off that... The teacher has to give you special treatment. The teacher has a reason to give you special treatment. Why? Are you paying her to? No, it's just... I gotta go. You just got here. We have to work, and I'm not doing the project by myself. Although I'd rather do that than deal with you. Why don't you go to your little doctor's appointment? Maybe if it could, they'll give you a lollipop. You don't understand. What don't I understand? Nothing. You just don't get it. Yeah, I don't get why I had to be stuck working with her. Hey, Josephina. Hi, sweetie. Would you like something to eat? Do you need anything? No, I have to go. I have a doctor appointment soon. Okay, you look upset. Are you okay? You mean besides what's been going on? Fine, I guess. It's just that your daughter doesn't seem to like me. Which one? I have two. Kavi. Oh... She thinks that I get special treatment, and she thinks that the teachers favor me and everything. I don't want her to know, but maybe you should tell her what's going on. I will, if it's okay with you. 
I just said it was, didn't I? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be a smart aleck. It's just, look, why don't you head off to your doctor's appointment and I'll have a talk with Harvey. We'll get this straightened out. Okay. Thanks, Josephina. Night. <sighs> and then she had the nerve to leave early. Well, were you nice to her? You don't have to be nice to a kiss up. Ugh, come in. Harvey, we need to talk. Oh, God. Luciana, honey, can you give me and Harvey some privacy? I'm out of here. Harvey, I think we need to have a talk. About what? You weren't very nice to Helen today. How do you know? Were you listening at the bedroom door? No, but Helen seems really upset. Yeah, well, if she's upset, she can run and tell her the teacher so to get me detention. You don't know anything about Helen, so why are you judging her? I know that she's a kiss-up to the teachers. She's not a kiss-up. <laughs> okay, fine. The teachers are kiss-ups to her. You don't know what's going on with Helen. I do. She's just a teacher's pet. That's not it at all, Kavi. There's something going on with Helen that you don't know. And I think I should tell you. Tell me what? Helen's been leaving class a lot because she's been going to the doctor. Yeah, I know. She has like a million doctor appointments. Honey, I'm serious. Helen... Helen has cancer. What? Yes. That's why she's been going to the doctor. She has cancer. She... Really? Yes. My God, I didn't know. Of course you didn't know. You didn't give Helen a chance. Mom, I'm sorry. I appreciate that. But I'm not the one you need to apologize to. Dinner will be in 15 minutes. Well... Man. Hey. Hi. I got your message. You sounded really hysterical over the phone. What's wrong? Did you and Helen have a fight or something? Well, sort of, but that's not my main concern. Why? What happened? I found out why Helen's been leaving class so much and why the teachers are so extra nice to her. Well, why? Helen has cancer. What? Helen had... No, I heard you. What I mean is, how do you know she has cancer? My mom just told me. I, I can't believe... I can't believe how mean I was to Helen. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Yeah, thanks for the support, Rita. Do you want support or do you want to know how I really feel? Okay, how do you really feel? I think you were really unfair to Helen. You judged her... Before you got to know her. I know. I don't know what to do. Well, give Helen a chance. That's all you have to do. Yeah, but how can I face her now? I don't think she knows that I know she has cancer. Well, then don't mention it to her. Just treat her like you would anybody else. But I can't do that. Why? Because you don't like her? No, because I feel bad for her. I really judged her and I... I'm a horrible person. You're not a horrible person, Gabby. You made a horrible choice, but you're not a horrible person. Thanks, Rita. Well, look, I'm really sorry to cut you short, but I really better get home for dinner. Do you want to come over and have dinner at my house? No, I'm not hungry. Okay. I'll see you in school tomorrow. I'll be there. Harvey? Yeah? Hey, Luciana. Why are you knocking on our door? Because I didn't come here as your sister. What? Mom wants you in the living room. Why? Don't ask questions. Just go to the living room. Okay, fine, but you're acting really weird. Luciana said you wanted to see me. I did. 
Well, what's going on? There's somebody who came to see you. Who? Who would see me at like 11 o'clock at night? Well, take a look. Helen? What are you doing here? I came to say goodbye. What do you mean you came to say goodbye? I mean that I could die at any time. What do you mean you could die at any time? Well, I could die in a week. I could die in a day. I can even die... Uh, Helen! Helen! No! 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 Kavi? <sighs> Kavi? <sighs> What's wrong? <sighs> What's the matter? I, I was having a bad dream, that's all. But what was it about? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. You had to have had a bad dream about something. Are you feeling guilty about something? Because you always have nightmares when you're feeling guilty. No, well, that's kind of a complicated question. What's so complicated about it? It's either you feel guilty or you don't. Just forget about it. I'm just going to go back to sleep. Kavi, if you don't tell me what's wrong, I can't help you. Oh my gosh, you sound like mom. Well, I want to be a mother when I grow up, and you're good practice. Oh my god, I'll tell you, okay? Just shut up about the mom stuff. Okay, what's going on? A drunken Helen came over, and she told me she was going to die soon, and then she died right in front of me. Whoa, why would you dream that? Didn't I tell you? Not that I remember. I don't know what you, you're talking about. Helen has cancer. She does? Yeah, I could have sworn I told you. Well, I don't remember. Yeah, well, she does. Helen has cancer. Oh, yeah. She... Mom told me that Helen had cancer. And I feel so bad for the way I treated her. Are you feeling bad because you're feeling bad in general? Or are you feeling bad because she has cancer? I don't know. I mean, Helen and I didn't get along. No, you didn't want to get along with Helen. You wanted to hate her. I know. And I feel terrible about it. Well, don't tell me. Tell her. Oh, I'm definitely going to tell Helen. When I see you in school tomorrow, I'm definitely going to tell Helen that I'm sorry and that I'm sorry I judged her and everything. Yeah, but won't Helen get suspicious? What do you mean? Well, won't she get suspicious, like, knowing that you're nice to her all of a sudden? She doesn't have to know that I know what's going on with her, but don't you think she's going to find out? You worry too much. Let's just get to sleep. It's late and I'm tired. <sighs> Come on, girls, you're gonna be late for school. I'm ready, Mom. Hi, honey, where's your sister? She's outside warm in the car. Oh. Are you okay, Coffee? You mean since last night when I found out that Helen had cancer? How am I gonna face her? Honey, just treat her like you would treat anybody else. You know, it's gonna be weird. I mean, I was mean to her yesterday, and then I find out just cancer, and if I start to be nice to her, I don't know. It just seems weird. Well, weird or not, you guys are partners, so you're going to have to find some common ground. I guess so. I just feel really weird about it now. Well, don't feel weird about it. I'm sure Helen will appreciate you being there for her. But don't label her as somebody with cancer. I don't think she wants every single person to know. I guess not. All right, well, you run off to school, and I'll see you when you get back. Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> hey, Vita. Hey! What took you so long? Sorry, I had a lot in my mind. I kind of woke up late. Oh, so, how did you survive working with Helen yesterday? It was fine. Really? Well, actually, no, it wasn't fine. What are you trying to tell me? I... 
I, I got mad at Helen because she had to leave for another doctor appointment um, while her and I were working. And I wasn't very nice to her. Well, at least you admit that you weren't nice to her. Yeah, now I feel really bad about it. Well, that's good. Why don't you apologize to Helen? There's more to the story. What do you mean? I found out that Helen... That Helen has cancer. What? Yeah. And now I feel bad for the way I treated her. Wait, are you saying that if Helen didn't have cancer, then you wouldn't want to ever talk to her? That's not true. Well, I think it is. I mean, just yesterday, you hated Helen, and then you find out just cancer, and suddenly you want to be friends with her. I mean, don't you think Helen's going to get suspicious? She won't if you don't tell anybody. You got to promise, Rita, not to tell anybody about what I found out. I don't know. Rita, I'm serious. Please don't tell anyone. <sighs> okay, fine. My lips are sealed. Look, I got to get to class. I'll see you at lunch, okay? Hi, Cardi. Hi, Helen. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I'm really sorry about yesterday. I will, but I really, no, I'm the one that should be saying sorry. Really? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't nice to you and I wasn't giving you a chance and I feel terrible about it. Well, I appreciate the apology. Yeah, I really am sorry. I judged you and I shouldn't have done that. It's okay. A lot of people think I'm weird, but yeah, well, I'm not going to be one of them. You already were one of them. Well, I'm not going to be one of them anymore. Would you like to come over to my house today? We could work on the project and then hang out. Maybe you could stay for dinner. Um, yeah, sure, as long as I, as long as it's not until 6 that I come over. That's fine. We sit, my family and I, we sit down to dinner at 6.30, so it'll be no problem. Thanks. Um, well, look, I, I got to get to class, but I just wanted to quickly find out if you hated me. I don't hate you. I never hated you. Really? Yeah, I mean, I didn't realize. You didn't realize what? Nothing. I, I, I just, what I'm saying is I should get to know you better. Yeah, you should, but I'm still sorry about yesterday. It's okay. I'm sorry, too. Well, look, I better get to class. Um, I'll see you in English. I'll be there. <sighs> Mom, I'm home. In here, Carvey. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. How was school? It was fine. Um, I know I should have asked you first, but do you think Helen can come over for dinner tonight? Sure, I'll set an extra place at the table. Thanks, Mom. I'm glad you and Helen are becoming friends. I'm glad, too. Really glad. Well, look, I better get my homework done. If Helen's going to stay old, stay for dinner, I better get my homework done. All right. Go, get to it. <laughs> Hello, Santa. Hey. You seem to be singing a different tune today. Yeah. Any particular reason? Like, did you have a good day? Of course I had a, I had a great day. Me and Helen are becoming friends. That That's great. Yeah. I invited her over for dinner. Mom already said it was okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad you guys are becoming friends. Yeah, we are. Well, look, I'm still a little concerned. Concerned about what? Well, I'm concerned about the reason why you're suddenly becoming friends with Helen. What do you mean... The reason why now? Well, before you found out that Helen had cancer, you basically wanted nothing to do with her. But that was before. Before what? Before I got to know her. You mean before you knew she had cancer? <sighs> Look, Luciana, come in. Hi, God. Hi, Helen. Hey, Helen, you're here early. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. Um, 
I'm sorry, uh, Luciana, you didn't give me and Kavi some space to talk by ourselves? Yeah. I'll go and see if Mom need, her needs help with dinner. So what's up? You told. Told about what? You knew I had cancer and now you spread it around school. Well, what do you mean I spread it around school? Everybody, all day in school, everybody has been acting really weird to me. Saying, how are you feeling? Or I hear you had cancer. I hear you were sick. Why did you have to tell everybody? I didn't tell everybody. I told Vita. So you admit that you told somebody. Well, I was, I didn't know I was supposed to keep it a secret. It's not that I necessarily wanted you to keep it a secret. Okay, maybe it is necessarily true that I told you to keep it a secret. But you should have asked me if I wanted people to know before you did. I'm sorry. But, yeah, you wouldn't want to be my friend if you, fa- if you didn't find out I was sick, would you? Well, I don't know, but we are friends now. No. No. We're not friends. We're not. <sighs> Kavi? Hey. What's the matter? I thought... I thought Helen was going to stay here for dinner. She had to leave. Oh. Well, I heard you guys arguing. What's going on? Helen hates me. Okay, hate's kind of a strong word. Well, how else would you explain it? She hates me. I don't think Helen hates you. She does. She doesn't want to be my friend anymore. And why not? Because I told Vita that Helen had cancer, and I guess Vita spread it around, and I don't know. I feel really bad. See, I knew this would be a mess, that I warned you about labeling labeling Helen. I know what you told me, okay? You don't need to tell me over and over. Well, of course I don't. My advice wouldn't be useful. (sighs) Well, Mom came in and sent me in here to get you for dinner. I don't want any dinner. Look, you can't just sit here and mope all day. Just go, Luciana. I just don't feel like talking to anybody right now. All right, fine. Ben. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Dinner's just about ready. I'm not hungry. Is something wrong? Helen. What about Helen? She hates me. Why does she hate you? Because I told Vita that Helen had cancer, and I guess Vita spread it around school, and I don't know. Well, why is Helen mad at you about it? Because she didn't want the whole school to know, and she certainly didn't want Vita to know or anybody to know. And she certainly didn't want the whole school to know. I feel really bad. Let me ask you this, Kavi. Why do you like Helen? Why did you decide to be friends with her? Well, because... I don't know. If you answer... If you don't know why you were nice nice to her, I think you really were nice to her just because of her cancer. Because before you found out that Helen was sick, you couldn't stand her. Then you find out she's sick, and suddenly you want to be a friend. Do you think that's fair? I guess not. I really messed up, didn't I? A little bit. I guess I should go to her house and apologize, huh? Wouldn't hurt. But come on, let's get some dinner first. Fine, I'll be right there. Harvey? Hey. What are you doing here? I was wondering if we can talk. Heather, who's at the door? It's okay, Mom. It's for me. So, what do you want to talk about? 
Look, I want to tell you that I'm sorry. For what? I've been acting like a total jerk. I mean, everybody was right. Right about what? The only reason why I wanted to be your friend is because I felt sorry for you. And I know that's not the proper way to make a friend. No, it isn't. I'm really sorry, Heather. I really am. Look, I know this is asking a lot, but do you think we can wipe the slate clean? Start over? I don't know. I understand. I don't blame you that you hate me. Wait, wait. I don't hate you. I could never hate you. But I just wish you would like me for me and not just because I have cancer. I know. I shouldn't have played with your mind like that. Why do you like me, Kavi? Like, would you like me if you didn't know I had cancer? I don't know. I mean, I want to get to know you better. And we have a project to work on. And I can't do it without you. Can you please come to my house and we can work on the project and maybe get something to eat? Please? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll come to your house for a little study session. But let's not talk about cancer. Oh, believe me, I would, I would never talk about cancer. Okay. So, we're friends? I don't know. Let's study together and we'll see if I want to be friends with you or not. Fair enough. Come on. Mom, I'm going to coffees. Okay, be back by 8.30. Okay, bye. Hey, Mom. Hi, honey. I'm glad you and Helen worked things out. We did. Yeah, I, it seemed like you guys were having a good time. I heard a lot of laughter. Yeah. So things are okay between you and Helen? Yeah, they are. Well, I'm glad, honey. And it was very mature of you to apologize. Hey, older one. <laughs> um, Mom? Hmm? I don't know what to say to Rita, though. What does Rita have to do with this? Because Rita's the only person I told about Helen's cancer. And she spread. She spread, and... Come in. Hey, Kavi. Hi, Mr. Sherman. Hi. Uh, look, um, do you think I could have a quick word with Kavi in private? Sure. I'll go put another load in the washer. What's up? I wanted to apologize. About what? I'm the one that told everybody about Helen's cancer. Yeah, I kind of figured that, kind of figured that you, you were the one that told. I'm really sorry. I know you made me promise not to tell, and I don't know, I just, you know me, I'm a gossip girl. <laughs> well, I forgive you. Me and Heather will work thing, things out. You mean Helen? Whatever. Me and Helen will work things out. Well, that's good. So, how are things going with you and Helen? They're going well. I mean, hopefully after this project is done, her and I will become friends. For real. That'd be great. Yeah. You should get to know Helen, too. I plan on it. Yeah, but just don't mention her cancer. <laughs> that's the last thing I'm going to mention. I shouldn't have w walked around telling everybody. No, you shouldn't have. But I know in your own twisted way, you did, you did it because you wanted to help her. So you're not mad at me? No, not really. I mean, I don't like you blabbing it to everybody after you said you wouldn't tell. But like I said, you only did it to help Helen. How can I be mad at that? <laughs> well, look. I have to go. I told my mom I would be right home after I talked to you. Okay, I'll see you in school tomorrow. Okay. Bye, Kavi. Bye. <sighs> Kavi, time to get ready for bed. Okay?